<clears throat> After barely a few days in the city, you have learned so much. Thank you for these delectable edibles, Shenhe. Everyone, you shall all be staying in Liyue Harbor in the future. One should like to think that you will all look out for each other. Is that understood? Will do. Yes, understood. This place is much livelier than I'd imagined. The Conqueror of Demons? One has not seen him of late. Well, then he's probably not enjoying Karst. Hmm. Let's go look for him in his usual spot, at Wang Shuin! In short, one is the only Adeptus who has elected to remain in Juryun Karst for the festival. Had Ganyu not come to visit, one would likely have stayed firmly put in one's abode to resume research of gadgets and mechanics. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please accept my profuse apologies. <laughs> Why the sudden solemnity? It would certainly not be the first time one has been interrupted on your account. As a youngling, you did so love to scurry around the place while one's attention was monopolized by mechanisms. You were especially drawn to a certain implement one had made. Oh, what was it? Oh? Oh no, here she goes again. This could spell trouble for Ganyu. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I just remembered there's something I must attend to. I should be going. Oh, why the sudden haste? With the Yuhang present, why not settle this matter here and now? Uh, n no It's something very important. In fact, I must see Lady Ningguang about it immediately. A matter so pressing that you must find Ning Wang in person? Uh, <clears throat> uh, yes. Ning Wang and I have different scopes of work, you see, and Gan Yu has to report to both of us, respectively. It's indeed not easy for her. Lady Kuching is trying to help me. Yes, that's right. I'm very sorry, everyone. I will take my leave. Huh. Gone already. That child, she has always been easily ruffled. One can sympathize, however. It is no simple thing to be a secretary. Nearly every matter in Liyue Harbor, momentous or trivial, passes through Ganyu's diligent hands. But even as an adeptus, she must never neglect her own health lest she fall prone to exhaustion. Ganyu is an assiduous worker, apt to foregoing food and rest once she is busy. Please make sure she eats and sleeps properly whenever you see her. I will. Ganyu has always been a great asset to us. Her health is a priority, so I will take good care of her. The Yuhang, reliable as ever. <laughs> It was indeed a wise decision to leave Liyue Harbor to you. We will certainly strive to live up to your expectations. As for these edibles... Hmm, they do look delectable indeed. You may leave them here. Shanha shall bring these into one's abode, and one shall pass them on to Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper once they have made their return. This firework has an intriguing design. One must conduct a thorough study of it. 
And one also wants to hear what Shenhe has learned in Liyue Harbor. Oh, yes. I have many interesting stories to tell. Let us chat while one scrutinizes this device. After all, <laughs> one has long been living secluded in the mountains and no longer observes the holidays. Worry not, one shall take appropriate care of oneself. Rest is crucial. If one is too devoted to one's research and falls ill, one shall be in no fit state to test the devices personally. Really that important to test it yourself? Of course. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. If one spends all that time working on a machine, yet forgets to test the outcome... Hmm. That would be akin to a chef who never tries his own food, no? It is unwise to put the cart before the horse. <sighs> Enough idle chatter, everyone. One must go and continue one's research. Come, Shenhe, this way. A chef who doesn't get to try their own food? Hmm. That would be kind. Cloud Retainer sure does know a lot about gadgets and cooking. Though, she can be a bit strange sometimes. But then again, she is an Adeptus. That's the wisdom of an Adeptus. She takes good care of those around her. Though she lives in seclusion, she also manages to bring everyone together. A hermit who's more social than most living in society. <laughs> what an interesting character. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to Wang Xuin. Perhaps we'll find the Conqueror of Demons there. Let's ask Virgil Det where the Conqueror of Demons may be. Dr. Baiju, here are the herbs. I've picked lots of them. Splendid! Let me pack up, and then we can be on our way. Hey, you guys! What are you doing? Dr. Baiju wanted herbs. So, I came to collect herbs. Lots of them. And... Dr. Baiju came too. Traveler! Paimon! Oh, and Lady Kaching! It's a pleasure to see you all. We're here stocking up more herbs. Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs out of digestive herbs during the festival seasons. With Lantern right just around the corner, I thought we should get prepared. We came all this way to collect some herbs, and we've picked quite the assortment. We'll be on our way back to the pharmacy once the herbs are sorted. I certainly didn't expect to see the Yuhong all the way out here. I have some business to attend to here. Ah, I see. It's nearly time to celebrate Lantern Rite, and you're still running errands. Hardworking as always. I appreciate the sentiment, Dr. Baiju. I'm just doing my job. Kaching and the Traveler are very busy. And we are busy too. Everyone, keep it up. All right, thank you, Titi. We shouldn't tarry here any longer. Take care, you two. Uh, um, three. Traveler, let's go find Virgildet. Ah, Lady Kuching. What a surprise. Is there anything I can help you with? No, thank you. 
I'm just wondering if you might know where the Conqueror of Demons is. Oh, we never inquire about Chao's whereabouts. But if he's here, he would be up on the rooftop terrace. Please feel free to go up and have a look. doesn't seem to be here. Perhaps we came at the wrong time. Maybe he's out battling somewhere again. Let's leave the gifts with the owner and ask her to... How can I help? Yes. Hello. I am Kuching, Yuhong of the Liyue Chising. The Yuhong. Yes. I saw you when we battled Osile. You are fierce with your blade. Uh, anyway, we're here to give you some lantern right presents. See? There's lots of tasty food! Hm. <laughs> Don't waste your delicacies on me. <sighs> Eradicating demons is my duty. You don't have to thank me. Karma is harmful to the human body. Even if you have a stronger constitution than most. You should keep your distance from me when you can afford to. Hey, wait! Are you leaving? Aw, oh, come on! Lantern Rite is almost here! Don't you want to take a break? Like I said before, I have no liking for crowds. I must remain vigilant of evil attacks, especially during the holidays. I will continue my patrol as usual. You should also exercise caution. And if there's any danger... Good. And he's gone! Well, Xiao hasn't changed a bit. Wonder if he'll come and watch the fireworks this year, though. All right, we've completed our visits with all the Adepti. Let's take a break downstairs before we head back into the city. Oh no, what should we do? Huh? Oh, Lady Kuching! Lady Kuching! I'm so glad to see you here. Uh, Feng Yi? What's wrong? What are you doing here? Lady Kuching, let me explain. I had rearranged the fireworks layout and expanded the range to Qingsa Village just like you requested. My people finished setting up the fireworks and we left someone in charge to launch them for the show. But... <sighs> The person we left in charge came back shortly after, and reported that all the fireworks in Chingsa village had been stolen. I immediately reported the situation to the Millileth, and had another batch of fireworks made to be transported to Chingsa village under escort. However, everyone's short-handed during Lantern Rite. The Millileth are already stretched thin and don't even have enough people to fill their regular patrols. They can't spare anyone to look after the fireworks for us. We don't have many materials left. So if the second batch of fireworks gets stolen as well, we're done for. So, I was thinking to go to Chingsa Village and have a look first. Which is when I bumped into you. Lady Kuching, what should we do? According to the Ministry of Civil Affairs, the number of guards on patrol has to be doubled and rotated continuously during Lantern Rite. They must perform these extra measures in addition to their standard daily affairs. The only manpower they can muster during the festival would be the emergency response units. But those special units are intended only for backup. There are not many of them and they cannot perform prolonged guard duty. If we wish to make use of them, we'll need to resolve the problem quickly. Hmm. Maybe we can ask the Adepti for help. This would be a piece of cake for 
for someone like Cloud Retainer or Xiao. <sighs> no, that would only make us look incompetent. I'll handle this, Pungyi. We can help too, Kuching. Thanks, you two. Actually, I have an idea. Let me make some arrangements. Pungyi, go back to Liyue Harbor and get the fireworks ready. Then meet me in Chingsa Village. Traveler, come with me. Let's ask around to see what happened. How could a whole batch of fireworks just vanish like that? Hello, Granny Roshin. We'd like to know more about the recent fireworks theft. Oh, Lady Kerching. I can hardly believe you came personally to investigate. It's no trouble at all. Please, tell us what happened. Well... When they brought the fireworks, the children in the village were very excited. They were all gathered round, watching the area for a long time. The workers piled up the fireworks and said they would go confirm the locations to set them off. That's when they left the village. Oh, now, let me remember. Ah, oh, yes. I recall that they left the fireworks in an open area just next to a house down the old road. But the very next day, all the fireworks were nowhere to be seen. The person in charge of the fireworks was so anxious that they went straight back to the city to find a solution. Oh, the villagers here are worried too. The fireworks missing can only mean that there are thieves about. There are elderly and kids in the village, you know? Although the Milliveth are stationed here, no one dares to go out anymore. I understand. Please help reassure the people in the village and tell them everything's going to be fine with the Milliveth standing guard. Traveler, let's go investigate the place where the fireworks were stolen. were stolen here! The thieves must think there are mostly elderly and children living in Chingsa village. All too weak to defend themselves. Otherwise, they would never dare commit such a blatant crime. This is absolutely awful. We cannot let such a matter go unpunished. Let's see if we can find any clues here before we plan our next step. Are these... footprints? Let's see where they lead. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. Sir, please. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Huh. A misunderstanding, you say? If so, then tell me, why are you hiding here? Please, good sir. This really is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> I would never dream of getting anywhere near the Feiyun Commerce Guild shipment. Something's happening over there. Let's go have a look. The Feiyun Commerce Guild? It must be... Please, save your breath. Restrain this fellow! Tightly now, we mustn't let him get away! Yes, young master. <laughs> Xing Chun Chun Yun! Hello!
Well, hello, dear traveler. Our fates cross once again. What brings you here? Uh, excuse me. Please, tell me what is happening here. Ah, yes. Allow me to explain. It so happens that every year during the Lantern Rite, the Feiyun Commerce Guild transports supplies to various villages outside of Liyue Harbor. Family rules stipulate that the supplies must be personally escorted by a family member. Because my older brother went last year, the duties have fallen to me this time around. Oh, so what's Changyun doing here? Changyun happened to be visiting, so I cordially invited him to join us for the journey. Oh, I see. Um, but why did Changyun say he thought there was an evil spirit? I see that you are not familiar with the story of old. It is said that fireworks were once called firecrackers and were used to ward off evil spirits and the like. In ancient times, Liyue was plagued by evil spirits. As people gathered together to celebrate the annual festival, the Yang energy would intensify, and evil spirits were thus attracted to the fringes of the city by the strong scent. Liyue Harbor was under the gracious protection of Rex Lapis, so the spirits dared not enter the city. However, they still lingered near the city gates and pestered the passers-by. In order to drive the spirits away, people made firecrackers and lit them near the city gates. The flashes of light and loud noise successfully drove the spirits whence they came. This festival is now known as the Lantern Rite. It was my intention to travel around to see if there are any malicious spirits lying in wait for passers-by. Since I happened to have a shipment of goods to deliver, and our course was through the mountains, I naturally thought it best to have my thaumaturge friend traveling alongside me. Sincho said he learned the story about evil spirits from an ancient text. The text vividly describes the appearance and even the whereabouts of the spirits. Anyway, when we arrived at the area, Chongyun sensed an ambush about to take place. Upon searching the area, we found a group of treasure hoarders. They tried to flee the moment we were upon them. Fortunately, I was swift enough to catch one of them. Your timing couldn't have been more fortunate. We were just preparing to send them to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. He insists the matter is merely a misunderstanding, but things seem quite clear as I see it. Good sir, just hear me out. Everyone knows the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Had we known it was your merchant caravan, we never would have dared to attack. The master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild is famous for his generosity and noble deeds, a, a, a true hero of the people. Uh, so, you see, this is nothing but a big misunderstanding. We, we didn't want any trouble with the guild. What you mean to say is that you were targeting someone else then? Well, who was it? I... uh... well, uh... well, just trust me. We were definitely not trying to steal your goods. Please, please believe me. Master Singcho, I would like to borrow a few of your staff to escort the thief to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. As for the bounty, we will pay you afterward. It is my humble duty to uphold justice. No remuneration shall be necessary. Come then, see that this thief is taken to the Ministry of Civil Affairs.